give you an idea of how mongoose is used on a real show throughout the day, we went to a show in Norman, Oklahoma, produced by Arc Pyrotechnics. This gives you an idea of the daily routine. Uh, the show had both local audio and was simulcast through a local radio station. Here's what the big shells are going into. It's a quick connect board uh, designed to go with a Starfire or Firewind connector and these mongoose units have the Starfire Firewind connector on them and they just plug into the back and have the uh, individual cues plugged into the board. So this show has a number of ground pods which are angled, controlled by mongoose. They haven't plugged them in yet. Um, you can see that what they first do is attach all the E-matches to the slat, or in this case the slat board, which plugs directly into the back of the mongoose. Uh, they got everything strain relieved and plugged in, and then when it's actually time to get ready before the show, they'll be plugging in the mongoose, doing a final continuity check, um, and leaving them on until showtime. So that's really all you need to do. Some folks prefer quick connects with uh, close boards. Some peak folks prefer regular matches with slats. But in this case, it pulls it all back with the 48 shots per module with mongoose. And this is going to be the battle wagon. You see the mongoose haven't been connected yet, but everything's been pre-wired to slats. And we'll show you some tips about uh, how to position mongoose when you have like big metal trailers. Here's one of the ground positions and you can actually put them between wood racks easily enough and uh, you won't have any problems with radio issues. So this big big old trailer, gooseneck, you know a lot of metal but we'll show you how to hook that up. But that's going to be a nice little body of the show coupled with uh, all of these ground effects um, running by mongoose directly on the ground. And what we'll show you also a little bit is where this is going to be fired from is way over there through many layers of chain link fence etc that tend to people think would be bad for radio and i'll just be able to shoot right through that uh, this is also going to be a cron box show um, and we'll show you at the radio station how to set up the cron box so that the music is synced directly with mongoose here on the field uh, where they're going to be feeding the pa system locally off of mongoose they're also going to be feeding the whole metro area from the radio, and those should be perfectly synced. So, now you guys got this down to a quick science. Yeah. In more, we have to because there's like I don't know, 60 or 70 of these things we have to plug yeah. in. Powering it on, setting the address, and done. How are we turning on? Yeah, like, keep it on. We're for right now. We might stay on. We might not. So once we once we set up and we, as we see all the modules coming online, we first of all make sure we've got all of our modules. This show has 17 modules in it, so we've got 17 on the screen. Next thing we do is we look for um, to make sure that the um, battery level on all of the modules is, uh, you know, at, at a proper level. These are all, looks like they're close to 100%. We also look for, as each module comes online, if our show has multi cues in it, then the module will load multi cues. The message will pop up on the screen loading multi cues, and then each of these boxes will turn blue, indicating that the, uh, the multi cues are loaded. 
Um, we also can look for, make sure that we don't have anything with a software arm on it that's that top light and never seen one, but just in case, we always take a quick glance at that just to make sure that we don't have anything armed when we don't want it to. Um, then we also te check radio strength. Um, you know, I'm sitting real close to all the modules with my transmitter, so all of these are pushing really high um, antenna signal. But as we move off to our actual sh location where we'll be firing from, um, we'll want to make sure that we've got at least, we, we try to strive for at least two bars of battery, I mean, of uh, signal strength. But, um, you know, it'll, it'll shoot at least at two bars. I've seen it shoot at one bar as well. So those are the things we check for. No, you're fine. All right. Are you sure I can hop over to that chair? Testing. We're done. Perfect first time. Don't worry about it. Um, so nobody's gonna believe that on the camera. Friends and family on on the big camera here. If you want to individually test continuity on an individual module, you can right click here and select test continuity, and just that module will test. Let your version of "Hey all you cool cats and kittens." Hey all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> or from the test menu at the top, test continuity. Tests all units. Firing location is going to be about 800 feet away. As you can tell, there's a lot of chain link fence and other obstructions in between uh, where they're going to be shooting and the actual shoot site. Uh, Mongoose's 900 megahertz uh, has no problems getting through this. For professional shows, we often uh, use uh, an antenna stand with a Yagi antenna. Uh, here you're seeing the Yagi set up. Yagis are not expensive. They're about 50 to 70 bucks. Um, but they actually are give a directional signal which gets you straight out to the modules without having to have any intervening uh, mesh network modules or anything like that. You could get over a mile with a good Yagi antenna. Uh, over water and here we're going to be using it uh, with the uh, modules out there including modules on the other side of that steel trailer. You attach a regular cable, coax cable, to the Yagi antenna, and then just attach that directly to the normal mongoose radio uh, in place of the 7-inch rubber ducky. You attach the audio feed to the uh, headphone jack on the computer, and you're ready to go for your local audio feed as well. Here Mongoose is coming up and auto-discovering the field units that are out there. It's also asking him to reload the last show that he had tested against. Um, the units come up. Oh, it's like we got two bars. And that's the one behind the trailer on the eight. Nice. No problem. At this point, the computer and modules will be left up till showtime, which is about four hours away. Uh, with the battery life of Mongoose, it's not a problem. Radio 
station. Let's see. Power, let me click power in real quick. We love them. What, three years ago we did this stuff? Yeah. Nick, is this, this my. Yes, lead? yep, yep, okay. your audio. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, so three and a half millimeter connection into the laptop, cron box into your USB. Our cron box is green light, means we're synced up to the satellites. So we're now synced with the timing. Laptop, we want to make sure we're headed to the speaker out and bring up music source. Your chair. Sure. So now on music source, we got green light, so we know the cron box is connected and synced up. We want this show to start at 21, 14, and 59 seconds. So the show's actually going to be at 9:15 or at 9:15 p.m., but because of the radio station latency and delay, we want to start the music across the radio station one second before we start it in the park. So we're going to set this one one second prior. We hit set start time. So this tells us our current time, this tells us our start time, and this is our T minus. So in three hours and three minutes, the audio is going to start playing. So we're connected to the soundboard here at the radio station. So if I play a test file, could you see it come across? Yeah. Without disturbing the world. Yeah. And, um, and here we are, the greatest race in, in, in the world. And uh, the All right. Yeah, you're comfortable now. Okay. So now I'm going to open my sound file. So that's file open. I'm going to navigate to and select my MP3. You'll see it loading the audio track. And now we're ready. I hit preview. The city of Norman welcomes you and to our Labor Day weekend celebration from Reeves Park. Tonight's event is brought to you by the city of Norman. So now I usually set my laptop at 50% volume and then I let the radio station adjust it however they want to from there um, but yeah this usually sets up at 50% so another tip is um, on this laptop come into your power settings and tell it to we're plugged into power, so when it's on plugged in power, never turn off and never go to sleep. That way the screen will stay up all the time. If you need to do anything, adjust volume okay. on the laptop, it's all, you can do whatever. So that way the machine's not going to go to sleep on you, it's not going to time out, all that good stuff. So yeah, make sure it's, make sure it doesn't go to sleep. So this is ready to go. It's not not difficult at all to to get it ready, and uh, this will sit here and just continue to count down. When that goes down to zero, it's going to start playing, and we've got a laptop in the field at uh, at the shoot site that's going to do similar the a similar countdown, and they'll be synced up for the show to start tonight at 9:15. To fire the show, you need to enable the cron box and also arm. Uh, now Anthony's going to arm the system, and once all the units are armed, it's under control of the cron box.
19 seconds. Medical service workers who served on the front line, keep the Norman healthy and safe, and so many others working behind the scenes. Thank you. Ten. Five. Show's rolling. The city of Norman welcomes you to our Labor Day weekend celebration from Reeves Park. Tonight's event is brought to you by the City of Norman Parks and Recreation Department. So now, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the City of Norman's Labor Day celebration. 